Welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is setting up a Microsoft 365 developer tenant for getting started with Power BI. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Jason, I'm not a developer. I just want to get started learning Power BI. Why do I need a Microsoft 365 developer tenant? That is a great question. The reason why you want a Microsoft 365 developer tenant is very simple. It gives you access to Power BI Pro for free for 90 days. Plus, all of this other great Microsoft 365 stuff that will help you along the way. My good friend and YouTube sensation, Saving with Christina, likes to say, nothing is better than free, except for a moneymaker. And that's exactly what this is. A Microsoft 365 developer tenant is a free sandbox for you to get to learn and grow in your career, thereby potentially making more money. With this tenant, you get 25 E5 licenses, which includes Power BI Pro. In addition, it also gives you a whole bunch of sample data for Microsoft Teams and SharePoint and lots of other great stuff that will help you in your Power BI journey because you could do things like take one of those Microsoft SharePoint sites and set up a SharePoint list with a bunch of data in it to use as a data source as you go down your path learning Power BI. Enough talking. Let's go ahead and head over to my computer. Let's take a look at how we set one of these up. So the first thing you're going to do is go out to the Microsoft 365 developer program and give them some base information, your country, company name, which could be anything, and your language preference. Once you've agreed to the terms and conditions, you're going to move on and you can say just this is for personal projects, which is what it is. It's you learning. You can choose any of the options at this point and see what's in, of interest to you. It's basically just them asking some base questions. So it'll help populate what things you might see in the sandbox, but at this point you can choose an instant sandbox. That's what I would recommend for you if you really don't know what you're doing. At this point, you're going to choose whichever region you're in. If you're in the U.S., pick the U.S., etc., etc. Pick a username and a password that you're going to remember. Personally, I use LastPass. The password you see on the screen is not the one that I chose, just so you know. But, you know, pick something that's going to be able to be saved. And you can also choose an alternate password for your 16 fictitious users. And it'll all be the same one. So remember both of these passwords and it should be two things that are different. Once you've done this, you're going to have to give a phone number for security purposes because it's going to text you a code in order to get everything set up. Now, once you go to do the login the first time, it's also going to prompt you for setting up Microsoft Authenticator. If you don't already have this, you should be getting it anyway because two-factor off is the way in the light. So make sure that you do that. We'll see that screen here in a few minutes. At this point, our subscription is now set up and we have 90 days to be able to use all this information. Grab that username because that's going to be important later. Then go over to click on the, you know, go to your subscription button. At this point, you put in that password and then click next. It's then going to ask you to go ahead and set up that Microsoft Authenticator account. Now, I'm skipping all of that because I had to give my phone number and all these other things in order to set it up properly because it's going to set up two different things. One is Microsoft Authenticator and one is text messaging. But now I'm all set. I have my Microsoft 365 developer tenant and I could just go over to app.powerbi.com and look, here I am. I have my Power BI Pro license for that user right there. Already set up 90 days plus I can do the premium per user license and do the trial for free. Now that one's not quite 90 days, but it gives you an opportunity to try that out when you're ready as well. That's it for today. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow's topic is going to be Power BI account types. Looking forward to seeing you then. The music by the podcast is Indie Rock by Scott Holmes and is shared under Creative Commons.